I am so thankful for the season I'm in because now I feel like I have a grasp on what I'm doing. When I think back to high school, I didn't know what I was going to do afterwards. I signed up for DTS and I loved it. It was sweet and it was all new. And after that, I worked a bit and I came back on staff. It was new again. And outreach. Man, that's like an adventure. But now, I'm doing IT. I've got January DTS stuff coming up. It's a bit comfortable. I like it. So the DTS step we meet twice a week. Once is for a teaching, and the other time is just as staff. And we like to discuss what we learned in the teaching, clear up our expectations, get to know each other. And this week's teaching was around the discussion, what is the role of DTS staff? And Maureen Menard gave us that, oh, that's what a lovely lady, gave us this teaching, this discussion. And we, can't, we realized there's nothing really separating us from the students except that we've done a DTS. And we can only take, we'll, we just take what we know works and what worked for us, which is just to rely on God. And, and so we're not there to fix them, but all we can do is model what it looks like to live in community, what it looks like to live together, and what it looks like to have a relationship with God and to go deeper with Him. We also want to encourage and push them. As part of our discussion is that when the time comes, we say, okay, Max, we've been talking about this, you want a time to share, this is it, this is your time. This is time when the speaker's giving you a chance to share, go for it! Woo! For me personally, I realize that my role as staff, uh, my unique skill set, part of it is, um, um, part, of, part of it is, bringing people who are introverts and into a group discussion and helping them to have the tools to be able to know their weaknesses, but also know the strengths. That is most important. That they really can chew on things and are really valued. Because for me on my own journey, being kind of shy, also introverted, getting rid of the shy part from uh, learning about who I am, the introvert part, just knowing what works for me. And one thing I learned this year is that I can really bring joy and fun, the excite, excitement to the community. I'm always trying to plan soccer trips. Everyone knows I love playing Camelot. I love it. But the only one who hasn't done DTS is Lauren Cunningham. How did he get away with that, sneaky guy? He came to the base this week and he talked about ending Bible poverty. If you search out the hashtag end Bible poverty, you got sites to look on for days. And then you got a mission to do after you read all that. Wow, it's so good. They say by the year 2020, uh, finished translation in every language. Bible translation for every language, every people group. That's quite spectacular, if you ask me. So I gotta shake his hand afterwards and we filmed a little bit of a short promo that you'll see coming up this week from Wireless on Facebook page, just on the land development and kind of from his perspective what he feels about that. Take a look, I helped film it, pretty cool, never done that before. One final thing to wrap up, I have a question for you. My hair is getting quite long and now is a turning point where I can either cut it or commit to keep growing it. What do you think? Reply, keep the knot if you think I should have it or if you want to shut it down reply stop the knot in the comments below thanks guys thanks for watching take it easy